in isolation, they tend to be okay. So like, what I mean by this is uh, by themselves, not paired up with any other foods and not close to when you're having any other foods. So what what can happen is uh, you have this this compound, this artificial sweetener, which tastes sweet, but it doesn't actually cause a rise in your blood sugar, right? Okay. Because it doesn't actually have any carbohydrate in it. It's zero calories, nothing. So so it tastes sweet. Your brain is getting a sweet signal, but then the rest of the effects of a, of a carb are not being carried out in your body. But the interesting thing is, let's say you have an artificial sweetener and you pair it up with something that does raise, raise your blood sugar levels. Oh. So let's say you have an artificial sweetener and then you pair it up with uh, a piece of bread whatever right so right, like a lot right, of times right. people are like oh i'm gonna have a sandwich and a diet coke right, right so you like pair a, up with like, the right 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 yeah. like a hamburger and a coke right got you yeah exactly so um so now all of a sudden you have this artificial sweet taste and it's being paired up with an actual rise in blood sugar and oh. this is this is kind of okay um but but what happens is if you do this enough your body comes to then expect that the artificial taste will uh be linked to a rise in blood sugar and so now if you have that soda that diet soda without the hamburger or without the sandwich or whatever your body says oh i know that there is going to be a rise in blood sugar and so maybe it's going to start it's going to expect and start secreting some insulin and make your blood sugar come down a little bit and kind of mess with it um your body gets a little bit wonky is what I'm trying to say. So uh, you're conditioning your body to mishandle carbohydrates with this. And you just have to be careful. So they actually did a research study on this. And you're blowing they, my they, mind. Wait, hold on, hold on. So we're just saying, <laughs> let, me, let me summarize. So what you're saying is like, okay, on its own, if you just drink like a Diet Coke, a Coke Zero or whatever, and you have the sweet taste, but no carb action, chilling, right? But... How often do you just drink a Coke by yourself? Typically, it's like with some type of carb in general, yep. bread, any type of rice, mm -hmm. anything good tasting, pasta, whatever, with dinner. Yep. And so you have this Diet Coke or whatever, and that has the no sugar carbo part, but then you have the carb and then you pair them together. And now it's like a, it acts in your body as a regular sugar, essentially. It reads in your body as a regular sugar. So mm -hmm. your body will release insulin to make your blood sugar come down because it has to eat the carb. And then yeah. after you had that adventure, you're like, mm, I'm just going to have a, a Coke right now. And so you drink the Coke by itself and your body's like, oh, mm, there's something missing here, but I know it's coming. And so yeah. it'll do the regular thing it does with the blood sugar. It'll bring it down. And now your body's like, wait, the fuck? Where is it? <laughs> yeah. So it's that's it's so a very, fascinating. It's and, and that's just one example. So um, really, what we're seeing though is that uh, the body's predictive power starts to get lost with with uh, with the use of these fake things that taste sweet but, but aren't, aren't causing actually... a rise or blood rise in blood sugar. So that was just one example of, of what's going on. But there are actually several different types and. Um, there was actually a research study where they did this. They wanted to test it out and uh, they had to they had to stop the trial. So we didn't what? actually get to see it finish. They had to stop it because the the uh, individuals who were in the study started becoming diabetic. Oh, uh, shit. Well, well <laughs> they didn't actually get like diagnosed diabetes, but their ability to manage sugar and their insulin responses to, to just everything was becoming really messed up. And they're like, okay, we have to stop the trial in, you know, because we're getting really bad responses here. Uh, so, so what it, what it really does is it is it turns your body's ability to expect and predict appropriately, you know, uh, carbs. It, it just makes it so your body has no idea what to do anymore. Uh, so, so you lose what we call metabolic flexibility. You become uh, it's not even yeah you lose metabolic flexibility, but you also have altered responses that could be completely opposite to what you actually want or what your body actually wants. So it, it's a really dangerous game to to uh, have these artificial sweeteners paired up with natural carbs or have a mixture of the two where you're just kind of flip flopping around. And then your body is just like, I have no idea what the fuck to do anymore. Like, I just don't know anymore. And so I don't know how to process carbs like you've turned me diabetic. Thanks. Um, so you just have to be really careful with it. <laughs> uh, 